Good afternoon, and welcome to the Sports Broadcasting Camp News Center. I'm Nia Willer, and joining me are... Sam Mason. And CJ Simpson. Is there a new best basketball player in the world? Or is it the same guy many have been touting in the world as the best for the last three years? One can certainly argue that Mavericks' Luka Doncic is the GOAT. Now that he has led his upstart Dallas Mavericks team into the NBA Finals for Game 1 against Boston on Thursday night, the perennial All-Star is averaging 31 points, 9.4 rebounds, and 8.2 assists per game in the playoffs in the 12 wins over the LA Clippers, Oklahoma City Thunder, and Minnesota Timberwolves. Dallas was the number five seed heading into the playoffs, but have been unstoppable, especially on the road, where they won all three games against the West in the Western Conference Finals against the Wolves. Meanwhile, the East top seeded team, the Celtics, are heavily favored to beat Dallas and earn the team's first NBA title since 2008. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are arguably just as good, if not better, as a team than Dallas's dynamic duo and more playoff experience. The Celtics are also counting on a healthy Chris Pats for the East to help lead them to a title. Dallas nearly had a second team in a major sports final this week, but the Stars were defeated in the NHL Western Conference Finals by Edmonton last week. The Oilers will play Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Final at Florida Saturday night. The Panthers, who had 110 regular season points and advanced to this point by beating Tampa Bay, Boston, and the New York Rangers, are red hot and poised to win their first title. The Panthers lost to Vegas in the finals a year ago. The Oilers arguably have their best squad since the Wayne Gretzky days, led by its star center Connor McDavid, who is playing in his first cup final in nine years of being in the NHL. He has five goals and eight, 26 assists in 18 playoff games and a three-time Hart Trophy MVP winner in the NHL. Florida has captain Alexander Barkov, who leads them in points, toughness, and highlight plays. Other stars are Matthew Kutchuk and goalie Sergei, Sergei Bobrovsky. Edmonton is trying to become the first Canadian team to win a Stanley Cup since 1993. The Oilers goalie is Stuart Skinner. It's not football season yet, but there is giant football news. According to an ESPN report, Justin Jefferson will not be leaving the Minnesota Vikings. The network is reporting that, just, that Jefferson has signed a four-year worth $140 million deal. The deal makes Jefferson the highest paid non-quarterback in league history. Jefferson passes A.J. Brown and Amara St. Brown as the highest paid receivers in the league. Dallas, meanwhile, is hoping to come to terms with C.D. Lamb, its star, its star wideout. Lamb missed the team's minicamp last week and, were, and will be reportedly be fined, according to ESPN, ESPN report. In baseball news, the MLB has announced it is permanently banned San Diego Padres to Cupita Marcano from the game for betting on games as a member of the Pirates last season. Commissioner Rob Manfred said that the MLB has a long-standing no-tolerance policy on betting on act baseball by active players. He said that Marcano had made over 200 bets involving the Pirates last year. 61 games into the MLB season, the long-standing franchise is the Yankees with the most World Series championships of all time, with the Phillies the most with the most losers of all time, are tied for the, for the first with the best record in the MLB with a record of 42 wins and losses and 19 losses. The Phillies have been doing it with, pick, with pitching. Zach Wheeler, Randy, Ran, Ranger, Sharts, and Aaron Nola have combined for 23 wins while Bryce Harper and Alec Bone are having MO, MVP years at, at the plate. The Yankees are being carried by Aaron Judge and Juan Soto at the plate. Well, that would do it for this edition of Sports Broadcasting Camp Center. Tune in tomorrow for more sports news. And for my co-host, Sam Mason and CJ Simpson, we'll be back. I'm Naya Willer.